Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can install LibreOffice on Windows 11. So that being said, let's get started. LibreOffice is a free alternative to Windows Microsoft Office. So if you're looking for a free alternatives to Microsoft Office, then you can try out LibreOffice. You will get all the features which are available on Microsoft Office. Now let me show you how you can download LibreOffice. For that, open your favorite browser and search for LibreOffice. It is a free and open source office productivity tool. Now to download, simply open the link from LibreOffice.org. Don't worry about the download link. You will get the download link in the description box. So this is the official website from where you can download LibreOffice. Here you can see the latest version of LibreOffice is 7.2. Now to download the latest version, simply click on this download option and here click on download LibreOffice. Here you will find all the download option from the drop down menu simply select your operating system then click on download if your download doesn't start automatically then you can manually pick up the mirror download link here you can see it is downloading it is around 323 mb let me complete the download process and after that i'll show you how you can install and use libreoffice on windows 11. our download has been completed now just open the installer file here we have the installation wizard let me minimize the browser here you can see welcome to the installation wizard for LibreOffice 7.2.3.2. Here simply click on next. And here we have two type of installation. One is topical installation and another one is custom installation. If you want to go with the default setting then you can use topical installation. If you want to customize your installation then you can simply click on customize option. Then click on next. Here you can select your custom setup. Here we have two options. One is optional component and another one is user interface language. If you want to add another language, then you can click on this plus option and from here you can select your optional language. And here we have the default installation location. If you want to change this installation location, then you can simply click on change option and you can browse the location. But for now, I'm just going to keep it default and click on next. And here we have an option to set up LibreOffice as default application for Microsoft Office file type. Simply select all the file types such as Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint and other Microsoft document type. Then click on next. And here we have an option to create desktop shortcut. If you want to create a desktop shortcut for LibreOffice, then simply check this box. Or if you want to automatically start LibreOffice while you start your computer, then you can check this box but for now i'm just going to uncheck this box and i'm just going to create a desktop shortcut and then click on install here you can see it is installing so let me complete the installation process here you can see that our installation process has been successfully completed now here simply click on finish here you find the option to restart your computer simply restart your computer here we have the LibreOffice shortcut icon or else you can even find LibreOffice office suite by clicking on the start button and here search for LibreOffice and here you will find all the LibreOffice office suite. So let me open the default application. So this is the interface of LibreOffice. Let me maximize the window and here you will find all the tools which you need for your office work. This is our Word document, Excel sheet, presentation, drawing, mathematical formula and database. If you want to create Word document, Simply click on word document and here you will find some tip of the day. Simply skip this and here you will find all the tools to create your word document. If you want to create excel sheet then simply click on spreadsheet option and here you will find all the tools which you need to create your excel sheet. If you want to create powerpoint presentation simply click on presentation option. Here you will find all the tools which you need to create your presentation. If you want to open file, simply click on open file and select the file to open that file. If you want template for your project, then simply click on this template option and here you will find the templates for your project. If you want to select template for your Word document, presentation or Excel sheet, simply click on this drop down menu and from here simply select your template type. Say for example, I want PowerPoint presentations. So let me click on this template. And here you will find all the templates for your PowerPoint project. So this way you can use LibreOffice on your Windows 11. So that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, 
Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.